Hello everyone. Today is a very special day to me. I got thousand subscribers of my channel. Thank you all for your support, your comments and your feedback and your interest in my channel. I will visit you with more interesting and more valuable and the more practical uh, videos so everyone can use it. So thank you so much. So I really want to thank you guys and then uh, um, as my token expression, uh, I want to share something. But you are there, I'm here. <laughs> so um, just let me share this so one of my favorite things. Uh, I always enjoy when I work, uh, which is coffee, <laughs> like this. And then I will show you how to do this. So let's get started. <laughs> So as I showed you very briefly, um, I got the you know, two photos of myself uh, holding the coffee cup. This is my favorite one. Um, I got it from Walmart. <laughs> and then and this is the, um, the photo uh, of my computer. So I'm going to combine those, uh, these two things. So first, here's myself. And then let me select all and copy Command C. And then let me paste it onto this computer screen, Command V. So um, I think the size is okay. So I'm gonna use this one. And then next thing is, first thing I will need to place myself in this the um, uh, in this area. So let me place it maybe somewhere here. I think I would need to make it a little bit smaller. So uh, under Edit menu, Transform and Scale, and uh, hold down the option. Let me make it slightly smaller. Let me like this. And I'm going to place it here. It is not perfectly fit. Uh, let me cut a little bit. I think. That would be better. Maybe somewhere here. Okay. Somewhere there. And then um, in order to sync it with my uh, the background, the, uh, the computer screen image, uh, let me go to Edit Menu, Transform, and Distort. And I'm going to keep the kind of a parallel line with this toolbox, the screen. And let me zoom in a little bit more. Move this up to here. Okay. And A little lower, or I think it's not too bad. Okay, and let me hit the return, return key. Okay, so this is kind of uh, the basic settings now. Then, let me make a copy of this. Let me duplicate it. So, um, duplicate layer, or Command J. Either one is fine. Okay, so I have two. Okay, so what I'm going to do is the bottom one, so I'm hiding the top one. The bottom one, um, this, my photo was supposed to be in the kind of computer screen. So I'm going to make it kind of a little bit slightly unfocused, like a little blurry and a little dark. Okay, and then also since uh, my portrait myself uh, in this screen is supposed to be just in the screen area. So uh, let me do this. Let me zoom in and then using my pen tool, I'm going to select from here to there. Okay, and in the path panel, let me make as a selection and delete it. So I can stay 
in the computer screen only. Okay, just like this. And then, since I want to more focus on their coffee mug, uh, I will apply some filter, blur Gaussian filter, uh, blur filter. Uh, maybe a little, no, it's okay. Maybe eight. And then let me make it a little bit darker. Image adjustment and brightness and contrast. Make it slightly darker. And maybe less contrast. Maybe a little more. Okay, so looks okay for now. Now on this new top layer, I just need to have the coffee mug, this cup, and then my hand. A little bit of my shirt as well, only. So, let me zoom in. I'm going to trace it with my pen tool. And then um, on top layer, uh, only my coffee cup and then my hand will remain. So I will go forward a little quickly. Okay, so I'm closing my path. Okay, let me zoom out. Then, in here, let me go to Path Panel and make as a selection. So I'm selecting my cup and my hand. And then I just need to get rid of background, including myself. So go to our Select Menu, let me inverse the selection and hit the Delete key. On top layer, hit the Delete key. So we're almost there. Okay. And then, only thing left is, I just give some kind of more contrast between uh, myself and in the screen and my hand and the coffee cup. So I want to give some little more contrast so um, we can focus on more on this coffee. So, uh, my background, I want to make it even a little darker. Okay. And then also, I want to make my hand and my coffee maybe a little bit, I want to make it more kind of saturated. But um, before doing that, I think I don't like this kind of white things. Let me erase it with my eraser. Okay. Here too. Kind of little minor things. Okay. Yep, looks better. So on this top layer, my hand and my coffee, under images menu, adjustment, and let me try the saturation. Uh, maybe more saturated. A little bit brighter. More saturated. Okay. And then, uh, I want to give some kind of little kind of better transitions between the computer screen and my myself. So, let me try this. On this, the end of dark layer, this one, myself here. Let me choose uh, over my tool and then a feather option, maybe 30 pixels. And that should be okay. Let me try it. Like this. Somewhere here, inside the screen. And then under filter, 
distortion, distort menu, and zigzag. So I can have some kind of water rippling things. Yep, maybe just something like that. Okay, and then just to make it more realistic, because the, I'm coming uh, from the, uh, the computer screen to a kind of a three dimensional uh, three dimensional space, so that would be kind of uh, the shadows here. So uh, let me uh, make a new layer. Uh, I will just uh, draw it with the brush and black field, black foreground color. And in this new layer, let me just draw kind of a black, something like this. Maybe a little more. Then let me change the opacity value of this layer. Okay, it's not too bad. Maybe a little more. If you want to make it a little darker, you can paint a little more on it. Maybe here too. Okay. So um, this is the coffee I prepared for you. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.